So, month two begins. I think I want to knock out this really bad adversary quest. And so, I'll take my banner action immediately, beginning my turn. Another potion. This one is spend to gain six warriors. Ooh. Wish I didn't have to give that one up. Plus two stealth, and you don't need to spend spear to double your move. All right, so we're doubling our move, and we go one, two. And right here, all I have to do is spend two potions. So, I've got that ready. I'm going to take my two potions, spend them, put them at the bottom of the potions pile, that's how you spend them, in any order you want. And then you say... Hold to complete. I convince the people to take precautions. Heroes do not lose any warriors. Not that I have any right now to lose, but... All right. Now that's a quest, and that's one of my heroic action, actions, is to do a quest. So, I remove that, and I get two spirit for completing that quest. So now I have five spirit. No warriors, but I have five spirit. And it costs me to go one, two, so I can keep moving. Three, four, five, six to the greater tombstones. Right outside this sanctuary. So, outside this sanctuary, I will gain as my reinforce ability at the sanctuary, I will gain one spirit. So now I have six spirit. And since I moved, double my movement, six, I did a quest, and I reinforced the sanctuary. That's it for this part. So it's time to throw another skull inside. Again, I don't want it to roll off. Whoop, went over here in the west. Well, I'm going to put this right on the sanctuary, where there's three now, right next to there, because I know I have to go there eventually, in this month, which is multiple turns in this month. And now, after I've done that, sometimes no events occur, but in this case we have some events. The seal is broken. Now these are the seals, as you can see. And if they say, if it lights up, I gotta remove it. And there could be skulls hidden behind it as the game goes on. Ooh, this side is the one. Let's see. And it's the very top one. Wow, it's the one that I predicted. But there's nothing there. However, it does reveal a glyph. Now this is the glyph of questing. So if that were facing me, which it's not, it's facing this way and I sit here on the east. But if it were to face me, I would have to pay one spirit to do a quest. It just basically makes things a little more expensive. New waves, put any number of treasures from the market on the bottom of the treasure deck, then refill the market. So I can look at what's here Currently in the market, I have the following. Plus one melee advantage, plus four stealth, and plus one humanoid. I'm gonna get rid of the melee and humanoid for now. Put those at the bottom of the deck. 
and then I get to deal myself two more for the marketplace. I would have to buy them. I don't get them until I buy them. One plus one reinforce. Oh wait, plus one undead advantage, or plus four magic. So I'll just leave those there. <clears throat> I put my treasures over there. Rumor, healers warn of a great plague festering in the tower. It will spread to the south this month. Hmm. That's over on the other side of the tower here. That's not good. All right, so that's it. Month two, turn two. Again, first thing I do, I'm grabbing that potion. Spend to gain one spirit. Nice potion. Now, I'm going to double my movement again and this time I want to cleanse these skulls over in the south because it's gonna get hit sometime during this month and I don't want to be unprepared so one to the big sister mountains then to the sands of madness that's two moves and I'm going to cleanse which is a heroic action so I remove three skulls and get two spirit for that. So now I have eight spirit. And then I'm going to come back this way. Back to there, big sister. Three, four, five, six. I'm going to end my turn in the village. Why? I need some soldiers. I need some warriors. I can't go into the ruins without some warriors because I'm going to lose some. Now, when you're at the village, you can get free six warriors that you can recruit. However, if you pay one spirit, you get 12. And I'm loaded with spirit right now, so I'm going to spend one of my spirit tokens and I'm going to get 10, 11, 12 warriors. So that makes me in a much better position when I go into the ruins here next turn. All right. So I did my banner action. I moved and I reinforced. So it's time for me to put another skull into the tower. Be careful. From here on out, I'm not going to show the events at the end. I'm just going to describe them. In this case, no skulls came out. Brigands spawned in the south in Ulamel's Hollow, and that was it. First thing you're going to do, banner action, grab a potion. Spend the game plus one wild advantage. That is awesome. Right now is the best time for that. Because I'm going to go into these ruins. Because it's a stealth ruin. I've got plus one stealth. And then I've got plus one wild stealth potion. And I've also got plus two stealth with Tomas. That gives me four bonuses to go into this ruins. And I have 12 warriors, so hopefully I'll only lose warriors in here. Or potions because I still have an extra potion, this one with the spirit. And I got tons of spirits, so it's time to go in. So, I'm going to double my movement since it doesn't cost me anything, because when I'm done here, I need to get over the other side quick. One, to go to the ruins by pressing the dungeon button to show I'm going to enter. Omas's Ruins. Alright, so I got to choose. Am I going to go east or south? Hmm. Choose your path. I have four advantages. This will keep track of them as I use them. I'm going to go south. Lose eight warriors. Whoa. Alright. That's a lot. But I think I will lose those eight. So 
now that leaves me with four warriors. But I success but I'm successful. I'm gonna say continue. Ah, oh, that was a dead end for nothing. I lost eight guys. Alright. Lose two spirit and five warriors. Well, I only have four warriors. I have the spirit, but I only have four warriors. And if I don't do something about this, I will take a corruption. One of the three I, before I lose. So I can't do this. I'm going to spend one of my advantages by pressing that. I only lose one spirit. Okay. That's easy. Continue. I'm going to go here. Lose four warriors. I have four warriors, which is perfect. Lose them. Continue. I still have three advantages. Man, I don't know. Should I go south or east? I'm going to go south. Lose two spirit and five warriors, which I just can't do. I've used one of my advantages, and I have four. So I'm going to use another. All I lose is a spirit. I can easily do that. I'm down to five spirit now and no warriors. South or east? I'm going to keep going south. Lose six warriors, which I absolutely can't do. So, I've used two of my advantages. And I have four. So I'm going to use the cloak advantage, since I've used both of Tomas's already. Gain two warriors. Whew. Yeah, I really needed that, boy. So now I have two warriors and five spirit. I'm going to go one down more. Let's hope it's it. Lose five warriors. I can't do that. Just can't. I'm going to have to drink my potion to gain a wild advantage. A random, or not a random, a any uh, type of advantage I need, and in this case, it's got to be a stealth advantage. So I press the button, gain two more warriors, nice. But now here's the problem. I have five spirit and four warriors. Oh man. I gotta, I gotta go, gotta go here. This is hopefully the end. Lose two warriors. I can do that. Because I had four. I'm losing two. Continue. Please. This has got to be the end. No. Oh my gosh. I have no more advantages. So now I have to take a corruption. Because I can't lose six warriors. But the two I have left, I must throw away so I take a corruption let's see what this corruption is after you reinforce at a village lose one spirit that's a very cruel corruption to have on me but I have to do it so continue oh man I might have to leave you know what? I'm going to take a chance that it's this is the end. I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to go on. Lose five warriors? I can't. i got to take another corruption. Oh, no. This could be a quick game, folks. You cannot spend more than four advantages per turn. That's my other cursed corruption. All right, got to leave. Unless that's the end. I leave unsuccessful but I did quest regardless so I still get two spirit but I picked up two corruptions and I did not clear those ruins and that's really not good at all so I need to reinforce somewhere and I'm gonna need warriors so that was one to go here two reinforce but I have I have the curse that says if you reinforce at a village lose one spirit so 
So I got to give up a spirit. Then I got to give up another spirit because I want to double the amount of warriors I get to 12. Should have went in there with more warriors. I should have reinforced first before going in. All right. And then three. And I'm going to stop. And then next turn, I'm going to finish that off. The events this turn was one skull rolled out into the west, a seal was broken facing west, and widow made spiders spawned in Anza. Alright, turn four. So to be safe, I'm going to go one. I'm doubling my move after I get my potion, which is a spend two to remove up to two skulls from any building. I might use that later. But now I'm going to double my move. One, or I was right here, I believe. One, two, go to the bazaar where I spend, by reinforcing at the bazaar, I'm gonna spend one, tri one of my spirits because normally it's two for a treasure, but the treasure hunter's ability is to spend one less when he reinforces at a bazaar. So it's only gonna cost me one to get this ability, plus four stealth advantages. I might very well need that. So I'm gonna hold on to that treasure and I'll see if I have to spend it when I get in. So that's one, two, three, four. Enter the ruin. And let's hope everything works out. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way over here. I have zero advantages applied, great. It resets me. So I still have my cloak and Tomas' is two advantages. So I have three advantages unless I use the scroll. Lose two spirit and five warriors. I'm going to use one of those advantages just to lose one spirit. So I'm down to two advantages left, assuming I don't use the scroll. It's a good thing I didn't stay. You have cleared the ruins. Continue. Dungeon spawn. A new dungeon for Tomas called Tomas's Cave has spawned and I clear the ruins so that's gone and the cave is in Akartis which is right over here where I have to go anyway so that's good I need to get over there and start cleansing and done with that so I started here, went one, two, three, four. I need to go five, six and head out over there. Five, six. So I'm in the Forest of Shades right now. I move my full movement. And I am going to spend this potion to clear to remove up to two skulls from any building. And the reason I'm doing that is, it's said that sometime in month two, there's going to be a problem in the south. I don't know what it is. So I'm cleansing these two, so there are now no areas in the south which have skulls. So that's done. <clears throat> and then... I will, so, oh, I forgot, I cleared that, that dungeon, so I have to take my two spirit for doing that heroic action, and I already, at the bazaar, picked up that treasure, so I've done all my things, moved, heroic action, and reinforced. Events this turn, the tower rotated, and there was a plague in the South Kingdom, where each hero who is there loses 12 warriors. But I wasn't there, so I lost nothing. So now it's turn five. 
I still have to recruit Letha. I gotta get over there. But in order to do that, I need to spend 16 warriors. And I have 12. So I need to hit a village and then go see her. So I'm gonna, first of all, take my potion as my banner, spend to move any foe up to two spaces. Well, I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm going to move six, one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Here's the village. I'm going to reinforce here after using five movement at the village. Spend one of these spirits so I can get 12 warriors instead of six. So that gives me more than enough that I need. And then, that was my reinforce, and I have one movement left. Last moves to go here, and this is considered heroic action, doing a quest. So I'm going to spend 16 warriors towards this quest, right here. Now, I get to say, Recruit Letha, hold complete. Gain Letha as a companion. Hmm. Now, let's see what she does. Like I said, every companion has some sort of bonus. And hers is... Pro is if you end your turn in a forest, gain six warriors, and you get plus two beast advantage in, in battles. So that's pretty darn good. I'll take that any day. And I am in a forest, by the way. As I clear this quest, I get my two spirit. And I've moved, I've already reinforced, I'm at the end of my turn, I'm going to take my six warriors. Thank you, Letha. They're probably shambling mounds or trees or something. And now, let's end this turn. Turn five events are one skull rolled out to the west. Tomas allowed me to place my hero anywhere, so I moved him couple spaces up and that was it turn six month two hmm. so first thing I do at the start of my turn my banner action spend to move any hero up to three spaces wow I don't need to move around that fast the cave uses beast advantages I have two beast advantages Huh. And there's no ability I can use to get beast advantages, or no gear I can use to get beast advantages. So I am going to go to the bazaar. One, two. At the bazaar, I'm going to spend one spirit to get the undead treasure. Which also has, after you reinforce at a citadel, you also gain one potion. So I can really get lots of potions if I reinforce at a citadel. And at a citadel, you gain a potion, so you would get a second potion. Wow, I could be potioned out. But uh, So I did that. I only had to move one, two, so three... Four, and I'm going to cleanse because there's three skulls here which is a heroic action so I gain my two spirit get rid of all these skulls and that's going to end my turn because I really need to be here it makes no sense for me to go anywhere else I'm going to have to hope brigands don't attack again because I just went right past them and didn't do anything. 
I ended in a forest. So, I should have taken six warriors here, but I didn't. That's it. Turn six events are one skull rolled out in the west, two widow-made spiders attacked me, and I lost two spirit. I now have five spirit and 14 warriors, and month two is now over. And now, month three shall begin.